Oh my god. Oh no, he's coming for me now. Great. This uh wolf is terrible. <laughs> that thing's dead as well. We gotta take out the third aloe though. The wolf is bleeding buckets here. So right now I'm just in the middle of trying to build my own little house here with some of the castles and keep structures. I was originally gonna build a little house with just regular structures, but I figured, you know what? We have this mod on here. We might as well use it. And uh, it could turn out to be really dope as well. I mean, like this stuff is, is quite cool. Um, so this is what I've got so far. It's kind of just a raised up platform and we've got a little stairway right there. And I'm thinking that the actual building is gonna be uh, seven by four. And obviously this right here is pretty much like eight by five, except that little cutout over there with the stairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like a little walkway along here and then another little walkway along here. And then the building is gonna be kind of in the center. So let me just show you what I'm thinking right now. So I want some of these big windows here. They're two walls high. Well, the castles and keep stuff is actually a little bit bigger than a vanilla stuff. Let me show you. Um, so as you can see right there, it's kind of like maybe like a vanilla and a half. Is that even a half? I wouldn't even say that's vanilla and a half. I think that's probably around vanilla and a third ish of in terms of height and everything, um, which is cool. They actually have normal kind of structures uh, that look exactly like this that are the same size as vanilla stuff, but um, we won't be using that. We'll be using these instead because these are a little bit more versatile. They have like tons of different shapes in these, and I don't believe that they have all the tons of different shapes and stuff with the vanilla uh, sized pieces. So I'm thinking that we're going to have windows like that, and then we'll have some walls right here. Um, and then we're going to have maybe like a space here, and then we'll have our double doorway. Hopefully I don't... Okay, I covered up that hole. I had like a little hole there. Um, let's see. So we'll go ahead and put a double doorway right there, and then maybe another wall, one of these, one of these that there and then two of these and then yeah you can kind of see it's coming together now oh wrong place oops do i have any more water oh, i don't uh we're just gonna have to suffer for a second i am not running off to grab water right now let's see maybe we can do like a little balcony hanging off the back there or something that could be cool uh you can also change the uh the color of the structure as well so i don't know if i want it to look like that because it looks quite cool around the windows because uh, they change, but the little window frame doesn't. So that creates like a really nice, um, let's see. It creates like a really nice just uh, look to it. I can't even think of the word that I'm that I'm trying to think of right now. But um, yeah, it just looks really cool. So maybe we'll go ahead and use some of the field stone. Uh, so you can see it looks really nice around the windows for sure. And around like door frames and other little bits, it can look really cool as well. Our church over back that way, which you can't see, is actually... Uh, it's kind of made out of, well, it's not made out of this stuff, but it all looks like this stuff. And I really like the church, so maybe we'll just go with this. This could be cool. Uh, let me just see if I can find myself some water without having to run all the way back. Um, I don't know if I can. I might have to run all the way back. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out, and I do appreciate it. Yeah, this is looking really cool so far, actually. It definitely will look a lot nicer if we can actually just make it all field stone. So we'll definitely have to do that because that looks really cool. Um, I will probably finish that off though after because I don't. I think there's a gun that you can make that can change it manually, which is pretty cool. So we have to figure that out. Oh, this can't be changed. Wait, or can it? And you? Oh, interesting. So apparently the stairs can't be changed. Huh, that's weird. I actually have some pieces for the stairs that I need to put down. So bam, bam, and they definitely can be changed. Yeah, that looks really nice. Cool. Alrighty, so let's just continue with some of this. I went ahead and actually just made up some windows as well, which is very, very nice, as you can see. Uh, they fit right in there. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's glass right at the top there, but you can you can kind of see when you come down at this angle here that there is. Kind of just looks like there's a gap if you step back here, but there's definitely glass there. I wish it was a little bit more noticeable, though. Um, Alrighty, so let's add the windows in over here, and then we got our double door as well. So pop those in, and then we got little tiny windows. Can these open, though? I don't think they can, but that's okay. I don't really want them to open. Didn't really plan for them to open anyway, because I know in PvP, if a window can open, somebody can get through it. Uh, <laughs> I've done that tons of times in Atlas, and the arc stuff works exactly like the Atlas stuff. Um, 
So, yeah, definitely don't leave windows open. It's really dumb. I've actually already seen some people on this server doing it, but I haven't actually went and and got into their little house and stolen anything. So maybe we'll do that in the future, though. <laughs> this is a warning to anybody on the server. If you leave little windows open, I will get in and I will steal all of your goodies. So I decided to actually go with this height right here instead of actually going up by another one because I just took a step back and I thought, you know what? If I make this building another wall high, it's going to look kind of weird. So um, we're going to go ahead and just switch these things up, but they're pretty cool, actually. I think I'm going to need a grapple to be able to do that. Uh, they're pretty cool because these uh, little gable pieces, you can change them to a couple different types. You could just change them to straight up uh, field stone right there, or you can actually change them to field stone with like the stone cap bit, which looks really nice. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, but I think I'm going to need a grapple to get that one up there. Um, and then in terms of everything else, uh, I decided we're going to go ahead and use these little pieces right here uh, along this wall. And uh, we've got another piece over here, which is cool. So I also found out that they have these pieces as well, which I thought, you know what? We could probably try to use in some form, but I don't know exactly how it's going to fit in. So I want to use this, though. I want to try and use these. Uh, let me pick that up. It's like a wall accent. So I think it could just snap onto any wall, to be honest. Uh, we could probably snap it up there if we wanted to. Um, or we could put it along here. That could actually kind of look quite nice if we did that. How would that look above the door, though? Looks a little bit weird. If we got a bunch of them, though, we could probably snap them all along the front and the back. And that might look nice. But uh, we've also got these little accents uh, that attach to roofs, but I don't have any of the roofs in yet. Um, I'm just kind of also wondering what's the roof, the roof accent going to look like if it's on the front here. Is that going to look weird? Eh, it doesn't look that weird. Okay, cool. So we're going to get our roofs in here pretty soon, but um, I just thought I might get those little accent pieces first. Maybe we could do something different with the center here. I'm not sure. Uh, bam. And we got to add them into the back here. Cool, they're all snapping the way I want them to. So yeah, that looks kind of cool. And then once we have the roof in, that's going to look really nice. Sweet. Alrighty. Well, yeah, we've got a little bit more work to do here. Definitely some more collecting, and I need to do that now. So, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll consider using... Oh, that breaks the accent piece. Oops. <laughs> Didn't know that would happen. Um, hmm. That's kind of annoying. But, uh, I think I might have enough stuff to be able to craft another one of those in here, though. Let's see. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're right up here. Yeah, we can definitely craft another one of those from here. There's some stone in the building beside me, I think. Alrighty, cool. So, uh, we can't have the two of those. We've learned that. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe we can make use of these somewhere else. Maybe above the window arches. Because I'm going to have those look the same. But it might look cool above them. I don't know. I'll consider something, though. We got to we gotta add these in somewhere. Because they look really nice. So, our house is complete. And uh, I think it looks pretty amazing. I mean, the outside's done. I still got to kind of like decorate the inside, but I'll probably do that in a few minutes here. Um, so in terms of stuff that we've done since the last bit, uh, we've went ahead and just added in some accent pieces going along this bottom bit here. And that kind of just like wraps around the whole building. And then on the corners, I added pillars just sticking down into the ground to kind of add that extra little bit of color in. And um, yeah, what else have we done? Oh, yeah. And then with the pillars here, I actually brought them fully up. So... Wherever it's like a part of the actual building, the pillars are going fully up, uh, right up to the sloped roof up there. So you can kind of see like the little bit of brick. It's kind of hard to show it. The little bit of brick. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to show that easily unless I go over here. The brick kind of goes up and then it goes across and then it goes like over there and up there and everything. And then it kind of wraps down and around. And I think it looks a lot, a lot better than it did without that stuff for sure because... I kind of thought, you know what, it needs something else, and then I figured out that this is what it, it needed. So, um, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty cool. Over there, uh, oh, my phone's on loud. Oops. <laughs> Over there, uh, we actually have it kind of going up. Obviously, this is not the very edge, so we have this bit right down here with the pillar, and then we have it just going all the way down here as well. So it kind of looks a little bit weird, but I think it makes a lot of sense over there anyway. Uh, and then up here, we also have a pillar right here. Obviously, that doesn't go down anywhere because there is nowhere for it to go down into. And um, yeah, I think it's looking pretty awesome, though. I really like it. I really do. 
Uh, you can't change the colors or anything of the roof, unfortunately. It would be really nice if you could, but uh, you can't. And I also took away the accent piece that I had right here. It's super dark. Uh, well, at least it's getting kind of dark. What time is it? It's just around 5. But, um, yeah, so we have, like, the little uh, stone accent piece here instead. And you know what? We could actually go ahead and change that. Uh, I did not mean to do that one. I meant to do a little accent piece. Am I on the accent? Nope. This is it? Yeah, there we go. So you can change it into a diamond if you want. Is that better, though? You know what? Actually, that looks a lot better. I like that. Hopefully, that doesn't really hinder me getting in here. It just looks a little bit weird, but I think it... Yeah, no, that's that's nice, actually. Yeah, because it's a double door, and it, it, you know, it goes right down in the very center. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. So here's the interior of the house, by the way. Um, I think it looks really good. I've got my Dillo in here, which is super high level at this point. Like, he's just been gaining levels from just sitting around the base. And he was a 180 tame, so he would have come out at uh, 269. So you can see how many levels he's gathered there. And I pumped them all, I think, into health. So pretty OP. Pretty OP. He's a tanky little boy. Spit on it. <laughs> so we've also got our Jaboa in here. We got a nice bed. I painted it cyan. Uh, we've got a couple little boxes around here. They actually are proper storage boxes, which is cool. Um, we've got some of these really nice aesthetic uh, little shelves and stuff like that. So this one here is a couple bit different bits in there. You can see there's some wood and some thatch and I guess some wheat or something in bags. I'm not sure. In this one, there's a couple of different things as well. And there's just a carrot right there, which is cool. And then in this one, we've got like a bunch of different things. There's a long neck up the top. There's a hat on the side. I don't know. This type of stuff looks really cool. So... Um, yeah, they've got just a bunch of, like, things that I use pretty much all the time. Then we've got this table here, uh, which is just holding all the mortars and pestles. And then we just got a couple crafting benches. And we've got a fireplace down here with a table. And, um, I actually had to go ahead and make a slight adjustment to the house as well, just so that fireplace would work. I went ahead and just angled the roof in like that. There's some really nice, like, corner pieces of the roof, so you can see it looks completely normal. That's a better view of it. And I actually went ahead and did the same on the far side. Um, and then I added some more torches around, added a little sign. That sign says Syntax Humble Abode. Bam. Um, I also changed the doorway from a Roman arch to the segmented one, which I think looks a little bit better, and I added some pillars around it as well to make it look cooler. And you may be wondering what we're doing here. Well, this is actually something I was just thinking of. Uh, we've got this whole area below the base. And I figured we, you know what, I'm going to need that on. There we go. I figured we should probably make use of it. Oh no, I want it to face the other way. Crap. Uh, let's see, if I pick that up first. Hmm. I think... Okay, keep ceiling. I need this. Keep hatch frame. So if I snap that from like a different point, maybe then I can do it. No. Hang on. Keep hatch frame. Um... I need this thing to face this way so it'll open up correctly. I don't want it to face the other way because that would just look stupid. How's that? There we go. Cool. All right. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, it's working correctly, as you can see. Uh, let's just go ahead and place the stairs in right there. So unfortunately, I have to crouch to get in and out, but that's okay. So I figured we put like a little cellar down here. Ooh, it's on automatic right now, so it's kind of all over the place. Let's see. Come back up. Okay, never mind. There we go. Eh. Let's put auto close only. So we've got like a little uh, area down here that I want to make into just like a little cellar. Um, not really for anything. I mean, I could probably put some loot and stuff in here, but I don't really see the point. Like, I'm showing this on a video, so I'm not going to put anything valuable in here. <laughs> so... Yeah, I just figured we put like a little cellar down here. Maybe we can put some beer barrels in there or something. That would be cool. Uh, and then a couple like normal little barrels like these ones right here. Um, but yeah, I just figured we'd make use of the room that we have down in the bottom section of the house. Um, and speaking of that, let's check it out. So I've got like this little uh, doorway in here. It's one of the portcullis things. What are they called? Are they called that? Portcullis. Portcullis. Cool. Uh, so we've got the whole little area down here. As you can see, I've got all my hyenodons in here. Uh, the male is somewhere there, and he's just breeding with all these bitches. And, uh, <laughs> and then we've got the direwolves over here. I've already combined the stamina with the weight and the... Uh, that says weight and, and stamina, but that's meant to say health. It says 
uh, 2904S, but it's supposed to say H, whatever. Anyway, I've got all three of those stats combined into the Star Wolf right now, so I basically just need to continue until I can get this melee and all those stats together into the same Star Wolf, and then continue the process to get in, like, an opposite gender of whatever that one is. Preferably, the offspring that we get between these two is going to be a male with all those good stats, and then we can breed that with this one here and uh, potentially get the uh, the female as well because then there'd only be one stat difference that I'd need to get. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going strong with all this stuff. Obviously, it's going to take quite a while. I'd love to just be able to go off and, and get, like, a perfect pair really quick, but we don't have, like, the most OP breeding rates on here, and I didn't really want that either because I know myself that I, I trust myself to come back and always make sure there's no dino explosions but with this many people playing on the server i really can't trust everybody to do the same so we can't have op breeding rates plus it's pvp so i wouldn't really want people to be able to just grab tons and tons of creatures whenever they want uh I did turn you off mating cool this one here is ready for mating but i don't think i'll bother i think i'll wait till all of them are ready and then breed them all together but anyway um we've also got this pillar here it's probably confusing to you but there is actually some structure support to it because that pillar is below this pillar right here so just kind of something that i wanted to do for myself i guess i don't know um but yeah this house is looking really cool so i want to go ahead and take my hyenodons out for a little hunting uh pack party time whatever um let's go ahead and just drop some of this crap in here i'm just gonna grab uh some ammo and other bits cool think we're good alrighty so let's go ahead and grab our hyenodon so these ones over here bred up earlier and I thought hey I might as well just go ahead and let them all fully grow up and get imprinted and everything so I've actually leveled a few of them into health so far but we're gonna level them up to 3k and then we're gonna stop and then level the rest into melee so I think they all have like one level roughly between them they also all need food because we're pretty much out of food here like I said uh, let's go ahead and just try and get them all and follow and I will have to grab one more the ideal amount of these that you want is seven because each of them can get a pack bonus of up to six they are completely stuck do I have a whip I did have one in that box but whatever I'm just gonna punch them maybe this will work cool are we good yeah we're good sweet another good reason to actually get a uh, a kangaroo is because I can use that to move some of these creatures around which I have been doing so, are you guys coming? Cool. Alrighty. So, what do I want to ride on? I think I might ride on a Darwolf. I have one over here. It's the fourth uh, Darwolf that we tamed the other day. Although, technically, we tamed six, but we only got back with four. One of them fell down off the bridge, and then the other one is inside of a taming pan, and I'm pretty sure that one died the other day. Somebody was saying that uh, one of our Darwolves died, so that's probably it. Let's see. Because it got killed by another Darwolf. We get you and you. All right, sweet. So we got everybody. Let's bring them over here. They coming? Cool, that's six. Sweet. All righty. We're just going to bring them out this way. Uh, we've got a couple dead creatures around here because somebody left their rhinos on breeding. You guys coming? <sighs> is the one stuck like right on the Anki? Of course there is. <laughs> Oh no, they're following me, not the Darwolf. Oops. Alright. Well that one I think is fall okay, never mind. He's just getting really confused. How many do we have? We only have five, right? We had a sixth one. Okay, there he is. What is he doing? <laughs> alright, let's get them let's get them all and follow to this Darwolf instead of me. Okay, and I want to grab one from out of here. Um so how many females do we have? Two we have two females, three females, three males. All right, I'll just grab whatever random one I can find in here. Um, It's got to be called Hunting Doggo, which is one of the ones that has all the good stats. Are there any in here that are called that? Okay, never mind. I, I, yeah, I just realized that the Hunting Doggos are actually inside the castle area. So I don't want to go ahead and grab one out of there. You know what? I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Whatever. We got the kangaroo. We only need one as well. So, oh, all righty. Let's just go back and grab one. All right. So we're going to drop here. We got a little puppy inside, as you can see. Oh, I just dumped him out and picked him up again. All right. Come here, buddy. You've been leveled. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, though, you've got a lot of levels. Wow. Okay. You're probably going to be the alpha. 
Um, alrighty, so I'll just add a saddle onto you. They don't all need saddles, it's fine. Come here, buddy. We'll probably try to sort the rest of them out with some saddles at some point. Let's give you one. You. And you. Sweet. Alright, so we've got all these little puppies. Let's go ahead and eat that. <laughs> So we should be able to wreck some face down here. This is gonna be awesome. Hyenodons are really good. I love them Really do look at this. <laughs> oh Man, that's awesome looking all right Well, so what we really need is just like an army of like a hundred of these and just go around Trolling well not really trolling. That's just being mean if I if I set my hyenodons in on somebody that would just be mean Although I don't know <laughs> There's probably a few people who deserve it. Let's see we got all the puppies, right? Yeah, all the puppies are coming. Alright, so four of them have a saddle, three of them don't. That's kind of an easy way to count them. Let's see, so I might get in on this little battle over here first. Come on, buddy. You're a little bit slow there. Alright, ooh, we got some bodies over here. Good part about a Darwolf is that you can spot what's low on health and everything. You can tell when something's almost dead without having to look for the blood. Go on. There you go. Oh my god. If I pet them, they do a lot more damage, by the way. Which we'll probably do before we go in and fight some of these Brontos. Go on, buddies. There you go. Look at that one doing like the 200 damage. That's crazy. I don't know if that's the one that I leveled or if he's like that because he's the alpha or something. You can hardly even see them in the grass. It's amazing. All right. Oh, I see some raptors. Oh, yeah, I do. Go in and kill that raptor. Oh, yeah, they got me. <laughs> they, he got them, though. Oh, my God. Or they got him, even. Oops. All right, let's get over here so I can see them for a second. Um, We might have to send them in on these raptors, actually. Okay, you know what? I'll just shoot at them. Kill. Kill. What are you guys doing? Get in there. They might not be on attack my target, although they should be. I don't even understand. That was weird. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Let's get them all pet. That way they'll all do the extra damage. Uh, did I get them all? I think I might have. All right. Let's go kill these Brontos. Get in there, puppies. You gonna go in? There you go. Go kill that one first. What is that hyenodon doing? Oh, wow. Come on. There you go. Okay, yeah, that's some good damage. They're not even fully leveled as well, which is great. So they're only gonna get better from here. Kill these Diplos too. There we go. That's all of them, I think. <laughs> wow, yeah, look at that one doing 400 and something damage. I'll just help them out a little bit because they're getting knocked back constantly. Okay, this, so this one's low on health. Um, maybe what we'll do is when we're bringing out our hunting pack, we could just go around on a, um, on a dire wolf. Like a really good dire wolf. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this thing. There we go. Now kill the Diplo. Just laughing. They're like <laughs> they're getting smacked away and laughing. They're so psychotic. I don't like these things. It's not okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Every okay, everybody, go to the dire wolf. There you go. So you need levels. You need one more to get to three k. Uh, got some shards on you. Nice. You are a three k. Perfect. They're probably going to use most of the meat right now to heal up fully or to get their food up fully or whatever. Oh, you got another level. Oops. Uh, all right, cool. Nice. Let's uh, let's go fight this other Bronto. Yeah, this is awesome. Unfortunately, there's no Rexes around here, so there's no major challenge, but Brontos are still pretty strong, I guess. <laughs> okay, here we go. They have not been pet this time as well. 
Oh yeah, that thing's dead. <laughs> Dude, Hyenodon's OP. Look at this. Let's go fight this Bronto. I love doing this type of stuff. I just walk around and whistle them where I want them to go. Just go kill this for me. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. You got me some loot. Nice. Thank you. I'll get that when we get home. <laughs> no, I don't know. I love that. Go on in, boys. The only issue is bringing them across the map. That's something I don't want to have to try and do. I'm going to be really annoyed when we have to go and fight somebody at their base, and their base is, like, in a really awkward spot. I'm going to end up, like, not bringing a bunch of high anodons with me, even though I probably should. So, we're heading down here to Vikings Bay because they're... Oh, hey, there's the raptor. I'll come back for him. There's an Alpha Rex down here, which we got to go down and take out. This should give us a crap ton of shards, but also some levels. There it is. What level are you? 66 is not too bad. we got to get out of the water, though. Uh, we got some aloes here as well. Let's quickly just take these guys out. Come on, get in there, boys. If I could whistle, why why isn't this hitting? There we go. <laughs> All right, I'll help him out a little bit too, just because aloes could be kind of vicious. I'll just start shooting at the alpha one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, he's coming for me now. Great. This uh wolf is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's almost dead. There we go. That thing's dead as well. We got to take out the third aloe though. A wolf is bleeding buckets here. There we go. We get all the bags. We didn't get... Oh, yeah. We didn't get any of those bags. Oh, wait, no. We, we didn't get this one, but we... I think we got the other two. Let me grab those. Sweet. All right. So, Alpha Rex time. Let's head on in. Uh, Let's kill the scorpion on the way. Dude, why can't I whistle onto, like, anything? Yeah, kill that vulture as well if you can. Did they kill him? Oh, they killed him first. Okay. Okay. I want that thing to come out of the water, though. I am not fighting it in the water. Atro is right there with his mammoth and his, uh, Thyla. Get it out of the water first. There we go. It's coming out. Okay, here we go. Head on in, boys. I forgot to pet them, but that's okay. Okay. Oh my god. Should have pet my puppies before we headed in here. But I think Atra's taking the main damage here. It's low health anyway. It's like knocking them into the water, dude. <laughs> Super low health. Hey, we got it. Nice. I think they got all of his loot as well. Cool. Alright, let's get on over here then. Take out these hyenodons. <laughs> Oh yeah, this one got it. Um, wow, 22 levels. That thing is a beast. Oh my god. That's a 174 Hyenodon just running through. Damn. Alright, cool. So, yeah, nice. Um... There's an Alpha Raptor up there. I should tell them about that and we can head up together and kill it. Okay, so we're fighting the Alpha Raptor right now and it's kind of kicking my butt. Why is it aiming for me mainly? <laughs> Here we go. I got my hit in, so I'll let the Hyenodons kill it. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Nice. 
I'm gonna give Atro these shards. And I will take the claw and trade that in myself when the trader comes in. Nice, this one here got 12 levels. Oh, I meant to put one into frickin' health. Damn it! <laughs> awesome. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know what you think of my medieval house. I'm really proud of it, actually. I, I love the way it looks, and I think the insides are cool as well. I like that we have, we have like, a little uh, basement area, and then we have, like, a little cellar as well, and they're, like, two separate areas, which is really nice. So, yeah, I think I did a good job. So let me know what you guys would like to see. Maybe if there's some improvements that you can think of, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join the server, there is some uh, information on that down below. It is exclusive to my patrons, but you know, it's a great way to support the channel. And also, there's tons of awesome servers that you can join, not just this one. So yeah, that is it for today. Catch you in the next one.